Welcome to day one of our massive Balkan bike road trip. What are we calling it? Bike in the bike Balkans. Bike in the Balkans, although we're not in the Balkans yet. <laughs> We've just come slightly north of the city on the outskirts because it was a bit crazy, the Duomo, where we left you last week. That was our starting point. We've just cycled, got a couple more bike bits. Um, we've got a fairly long ride today. We're going to aim for, I think, 80 kilometres. It's mostly flat along a canal, which I was looking forward to, but it's actually dried up and it stinks. So it's a bit like being back on the boat, actually. <laughs> well, it doesn't smell that bad on the boat. Right, I'm actually really excited to get going now. Ready? Yeah, I don't know about 80 kilometres though. You didn't, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> Any chance of water? Try and top the bottle up. Oh, look, Milan's flag, flag of St. Ambrose, is very similar to the flag of St. George. I think it outdates the flag of St. George as well. <laughs> Free water. Brings you back to memories of van life. Yeah. Next stop, don't know where, probably around the town for some lunch. <laughs> We're using a Kamut app. Our first leg of the journey for the first couple of days is going to be Lake Garda, so I'll bang that in. Oh, my hands are sore. Your hands are? Yeah. My hands are really sore. Here we go. Oh. Oh, there you go. The river is completely dried up. I'm sure it would have been nice when there was a river. I haven't got the padded shorts on today. I thought I'll wear them. Oh, oh, that's not in. I haven't got the padded shorts on today. I thought I'd wear them a couple of days in. I don't know if that's the right decision or not. Yeah. There's loads of cute dogs in the back. Birdies, mountain, puppy. They are really cute. We stroked it, it's fluffy. More up here? Uh, we can more up here. Comfortable so far? Yeah. Hopefully, there's a couple of little cafes en route to stop have a coffee in like an hour. Yeah. Might have to stop it before that for some food actually. We've got tins of tomatoes on the menu today. It's stunning, isn't it? You just never see this bit of like any any city if you weren't. Here we go. Some really cool murals. Just offer a tin of tomatoes before we get too hungry. Start the day off right, eh? Lovely, isn't it? Mm. San Marzano. Mm -mm -mm. Then we're going to try and get some miles in. Mm -hmm. Lovely day for it. It's been quite shaded here so far as well, which is nice. Hey, they guinea pigs, but rat like, hello. Bueno, Sarah. <laughs> so we've been cycling for about an hour and we just saw a sign and six kilometers and we're in Gorgonzola. Where the cheese is from. I know what we're having for lunch, eh? <laughs> so we haven't actually looked at anything on this trip other than where we know we're going and the main cities. Um, but I think we've just hit the jackpot because we have just come through Gorgonzola, which I didn't even realise was, was from the north or mm. en route at all. Um, so we're definitely going to go get some Gorgonzola in some form, whether that's pizza or just a block, I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> just we're in Gorgonzola. What is this? I have to turn around. We have done 23 kilometres. No. Where did you get that from? 15. Huh? Oh, from, from the centre of Milan it is. Oh, is it? Is that what you did? Yeah. Oh, I thought from the starting point. Yeah, the start of the... It says 15 kilometres on mine. It says 23 on mine. Yeah. Oh, oh well. well. That's how far we are anyway. Um, just gone through Gorgonzola, had a lovely pizza with Gorgonzola on it. We've now just bought some Gorgonzola, because when in Rome. And Joe just bought some dates. Sugary some snack. Good sugary snack. And some coffee. From Tunisia. Where is it? Tunisia. Yeah. Lovely. Where um, are these living? Lovely. Okay. Oh dear. Dog, dog being naughty, I think. Anyway. Um, we're going to try and get some more miles in us. 
more kilometers. Ready? Uh, for it? Ready. Let me find camp for the night. Where are we going to camp? That food. This thing, I think this is what yeah. freaks me out the most. <laughs> Where are you going? Wrong way. Huh? Hello. Welcome to the River Adder, do you say? Adder. Adder. River Adder. Stunning. Very lush. Sam Stanley, this is already the furthest we've ever cycled. How many kilometres now? Like 35? Yeah. 35 kilometres? Is that about 20 miles? Ish. And it's already one of the prettiest places we've ever cycled on day one. <laughs> Not hard to beat though, is it? So nice. Right, that's all the flat and downhill for the day. Now we start uphill. Ooh! <laughs> push in. First push of the journey. Oh my. Gosh. Lovely. All right. Well done. Just pulled over for a bit of lunch or tea. What are we calling it? Dinner. Dinner. Um, lovely gorgonzola and salami roll. First injury of the day. Mm. Bloody sharp that is. All right, we're going to eat these, and we're probably seven kilometres away from where I'm hoping to set camp up for the night. What do you reckon? Yeah. Lovely. It was all going so well. Just had this massive thud behind me. I thought that the wheel, I had a punch or something, but it turns out this. <laughs> Scraping along the floor. Uh, I don't know, I can't quite tell if it's sheared the bolts or if it's just ripped them out or what. We should be able to. Um, where is it? Just these two? Just those two bolts. Have you got any bolts? And I can put a bungee around this just to give it a bit of extra support. I think so. <laughs> I'm glad it's not the one that I put on. Oh, oh God. We're so close as well. <laughs> Carry the bags. Yep. Uh, tight. Always carry spare bolts. <laughs> that scared me. This is the reason I am not carrying the electric. Let me get some spare bolts. So I haven't touched this. It's hand tied ready. No, wrong one. Well. I thought I'd just check them just in case. So we went on that dirt track earlier and it's quite bumpy. So that's how much they've undone. Half a turn? Maybe we have to do that every day. I oh, should keep checking them, yeah. <laughs> that's the last thing. Oh, it is a road section though, wouldn't it? Could have been Luckily, a worse. Luckily there road. was no one behind me other than you. <laughs> but what we'll do. What about, did you do your other side as well? Yeah. That's scary. Look at the scrapes on the back. Oh, day one. I'll give you a bit pre-warning. There you go. It's fixed. <laughs> Ready to go? Yep. 
Right, where were we? Well oh, done, I'm proud. Well done, Troy. Thanks. Now downhill, it's the reward. Straight over at the roundabout at the bottom. Did you put your feet down? Nope. It's in a low gear though, you're going faster than me. What do you reckon? Right here. Somewhere? Yeah. Do you reckon good spot? Right by the river? Yeah. Secluded? Cool. One camp assembled. That took so long. I don't know whose bike that is. We've got essentially a channel going under the tents. We're in sort of a curved bowl like this. With a gap at the front. But it shall do. We'll see how long it is till we get moved on. A bit bright, but good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. Good night, everybody. It's like nine o'clock. <laughs> good morning, campers. <laughs> a bit colder than expected, but we survived the night at least. Wrong from it. it would be if I shaved it off now, mate, you'll know yourself. <laughs> Don't you waste it. Are you meant to warm those cups up? You lost a lot, huh? Cup of tea. And enjoy the view. Yeah. Oh, my knees. Oh, dear. Hmm? Mate, that's going to be freezing. It's very cold. It's cold, that's it. Might go for a little farmer's market today. Mm. Where are the sheep off to? What's the saying? All the gear, no idea. Come here. What on earth? <laughs> Second day in, she already got the bibs out. <laughs> I need it. It hurts down there. It's sore. <laughs> Look at you. I haven't sat back on my bike yet. I'm going to try now. I've got a bib on now. It's just padded. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, God. I'm not sure about that. Oh, that hurts. Oh, oh, oh. 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 fell off. I imagine that's what it feels like to give birth down there. Oh, we're sore in there. I'm so in the sore. seating area. That was a sore. I keep falling off the bike. Ow, 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 ow. It's all off, eh? Left at the end. It's cold. 
Ooh. Oh my. Oh. That's right. I'm it now, aren't I? <laughs> oh my god, camera bag nearly fell off. Oh. Got it. My camera bag nearly fallen off already. Oh, wherever we stay, we make sure we pick up a little bit more rubbish that's not ours to give back to the spot. Look after. Oh, look after this planet because we only get one of them. Off we go, day two. Oh, oh. Um, what? Says we should be able to cross it here. We'll go over the road then. Bloody hell. Oh shit, road, yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Cool. Cut it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite, that's like one of the most stunning street dancing. Oh. 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 Spot of Alfresco dining. We finish off the Gorgonzola. Yeah. Got some anchovies. Where they gone? We've lost some, some anchovies. anchovies. And we've lost a cutlery already yesterday when we stopped for rolls. So we've got a knife left because we didn't put it away, luckily, and and he's got a big old ladle to shovel it in. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, pasta. Did we say pasta? Starving. It's not tight on the water. There's any water in there? <laughs> it's because my water bottle. You didn't offer yours. <laughs> you can use some mine. <laughs> Treasure. Who looked a lot of daddy this? Oh, how am I gonna strap this on? It's like a game of jousting or something. Can I keep it? Oh, Want it? It's for you. Just stopped off at a pharmacy because Dan's got quite a bit of a tickly cough. So we've got some cough medicine. 15 pounds. Just by a fair in the background if you don't know what the noise is. Um, mostly downhill all the way to the camp right now, so we're just gonna try and get there as early as possible. Oh we've got another steep bit in a minute. Um, I think we didn't film that, but one of the biggest uphills we've had so far. And yeah. Ready? We've got to go left, yeah, uphill. Yeah, go. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I've got a lot lower gears if you need to get up and want to swap bikes. <laughs> I'll get off and push then if I have to. No, 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 I, my legs are just keep walking, just keep walking. After this hill, all downhill for the day. First bit of rain on the trip, and typically it's just before we get to camp. Hopefully it stops before we get there. Yeah.
Away you go. Round to the right. Head right. So some thunder to add to our woes. <laughs> Just checking out um, where we can sleep for the night on foot before we push the bikes up this. But I'm already thinking it's a no-go. It's a bit more like it, isn't it? Very loud camping? Don't say no camping. Don't know if we're allowed to camp or not. Good morning. So as you can probably tell, we didn't sleep in the woods last night. We treated ourselves to a hotel. First excuse is Danny's got quite a bad cough. Come on, put your cough on. Like you did to me. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Um, it's just one sensible, really. If we get ill on this trip this early, it's it just was really going to throw us off. Like the sun was setting, and the place where it is was not. It was. It not was ideal. a nature reserve, and from reading up, you can get quite severely fined, anywhere from a hundred euros up to five hundred euros. And we don't really want to annoy anyone. All, it's just all private property around here. I think we're more than happy to camp, and we will do throughout this trip. But it just it's. It's just an expensive area, you know, you don't want to be... It's quite built up, isn't it? Yeah, there isn't anywhere, it's all like private property and vineyards around here, so it's obviously very beautiful to go through, but yeah, the sun was setting, I just don't feel great, I was like, oh, I just don't, yeah, it just wasn't, <laughs> I wouldn't sink feeling it. So, um, we slummed it a bit last night. Look at the state of it. Look at the flare. Look at the state of it here. Yeah. It is stunning. It is such a beautiful part of the world, but you definitely pay for it. Did you say this was UNESCO heritage site, this hotel? I don't know if this hotel or just this area. I couldn't quite get the gist of the translation, but it's stunning. Just, oh, I can't. So we've got to check out in a minute. We're going to load the bikes up and then we're headed for Garda today. Got another hotel booked, which is free cancellation. So we yeah. might camp, we might go into the hotel. There just wasn't anywhere to camp though. There's some beautiful campsites yeah, north nothing here. of the lake, but where we are right at the bottom of Lake Garda, there just is absolutely nothing, so. Oh, I see what you mean, actually when we get there. Um, also, part of the rush over the past couple of days, we didn't have a video edited to put out today, which is Sunday, so I managed to finish that off last night and this morning. That's ready to go, so the next few days should be a bit more leisurely pace. I've also given myself a cyclist moustache for a bit of inspiration. 40 kilometers to Garda. Well, the lake of Garda. Garda Lake. It says two hours, probably takes four. <laughs> we can't check until three anyway, so. Yeah, what way are we going? Left. Day three. Feeling fresh. No point washing my hair because it's just going to get gross again. Ciao! Uh oh. Joe lost his shield. Oh dear. We're going to have to get rid of it. Knee in. Knees aren't stiff as anything. It's just like a bit of a mild shooting pad. Oh, it's freezing cold as well. I just feel a bit. Just these, no? Just that this one. one. It's not very hygienic. I can't got any gloves. Yep. Not a septic technique. Walking on it's fine. It's like I'll do it. And then all round under the kneecap. This is the one I got a scar on. I fell over on rollerblades when I was younger and it's been knackered since. <laughs> Should have thought about that, shouldn't I? Yeah. I think when you're younger, you were ever going to be doing this, so. No. Freaky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Down the bottom more? Yeah. We're just lapping this up, aren't you? Yeah. Make the most of it. Don't get much sympathy out this one. <laughs> That's not true. You double orange, eh? You've been tango, mate. Nice t shirt. That was one I bought for myself, actually. 
looks really nice. Right, that'd be alright. Let's see how that gets on. It's weird. They don't. I can't actually replicate the pain. It's just pedalling. It's repetitive. Can you remember when you had that? Ow! Oh, just hit it on the bar. Can you remember when you had that pain when we came back from Scotland when we did the North Coast? Oh, for, in my clutch knee that was. Yeah. That one gave up from pressing the clutch all the time on the hill side. You just got knackered knees, mate. Knackered knees. Right, onwards. <laughs> my knee felt better when we were just stopping in a city and then done probably another 5k three or four five k or something and it's throbbing again now it's all right to walk on but any sort of pressure on the pedals day three like 50. A 50. It's a nice OSB down here, isn't Huh? Yeah, the thing is on the head. What is it? A clip? No, yeah, the actual metal. Oh, plastic, you mean? Clip. The actual metal. Hello? The other side isn't actually catching anything. Yeah. Oh, up top? No, down there, dude. That bit. Oh, f your bolts come out on the bottom, is it? I'll get some water. Day please. three, and you've run out of bolts. Do you think it's just a shit pan, yeah? Yeah. Right. Good news is it hasn't sheared, so I can just put a bolt in. Like. <sighs> Can't get that line up now. You're my hero. <laughs> and look how close we are to the lake. Lake Garda. We, um. Just there. We decided to follow Google Maps instead of Kamut in the end, because Kamut was going to take us up a big old steep hill and then down a steep hill was this google maps way looks like it's more road but it's flatter so it's mostly flat anyway we've done a lot of like scenic routes like, like right now i don't yeah. feel like we need it with your knee no look at the view though you see that long bit there we're somewhere here where we're staying there's a fortress there i think we're gonna go see it That's come off the front, that is. Do you not see it? <laughs> I'll get it. Danny's lying to me about campsites. Look at the moustache on that. <laughs> look at how red your face is. Is mine that? Jeez, look at mine. I don't think we're actually that red. I think the camera's. <laughs> anyway, we are washed. We're just going out for some dinner, hopefully. We'll find a table somewhere. It's actually a lot bigger than I... Well, I know it's the biggest lake in um, Italy, but... Yes, like really big. We're like in a town. What's it called? At the south. I don't know what the town's so, called. Some. I don't know. Put it here. Um, but yeah, we're going to go walk along. I think there's like a long bit that we can walk along with a fortress at the end. So I think it's about 40 minutes. It's still quite a walk, but um, <laughs> we're going to do that now before the sun sets and go get some food.
Good morning, everybody. Illness continues. Bad coffee. I've got a really bad cough and a cold. And also, and I always bring Bongella, but I was being the minimalist that I am. I'm scared how much it's going to cost because cough medicine was 15 quid, so. I feel run down. Can you be allergic to exercise? I don't know. I feel like I've drank enough. I don't know what. I don't know if it's just bad timing. It could be, kind of A change of environment on the road all the time. <sighs> See how we get on today, innit? See if old Bam Lee gets on any better as well. <laughs> I don't know who we think we were. <laughs> <laughs> so I was doing some research on my knee last night and it sounds like I've given myself... Hang on. Google over here. Anterior knee pain, which is frontal kneecap pain. Look at the... Have you gone down a bit already? Felt weird, didn't it? Oh yeah. You also haven't said that your mum had something wrong with her knee. Yeah, mum had to have operations on both knees. I think when she's pregnant with me, actually. Um, and essentially it can be caused by too low a saddle, and there's me telling Danny that she needs her saddle higher, and too far forwards on the saddle, which some racers get it when they're trying to get right down in the pedals. Um, so I'm going to try and adjust it back and up a bit and see how I get on, but at the minute it's quite swollen. <laughs> God. We had a nice meal last night. A lovely meal though, yeah, and a gelato. Um, yeah, we're just going to take it steady today and see how far we get. I might end up walking a bit, but next stop though is just past Verona. I wanted to go see Juliet's house, um, but it's shut on a Monday and it's Monday today, so typical. I think we're going to drive up to it, but I can't imagine you can even get close to it to go see it by the looks of it, but we'll try. Do you think, like, I'm obviously down to do whatever you want to do, but do you think a day, not that I want you to push, but I'm just saying, do you think a day is actually going to make a difference or it's like game over? I'm not sure. Danny's just gone down to look for a wind muff. My knee's hurting more than I anticipated, unfortunately. I don't think I'll be cycling very far today. It'll be a walking mission. Couldn't even cycle on the flat, could you, honey? No. Real painful today. What are we going to do about that then? Um, when reality kicks in, we'll probably figure out resting for a week and then try and catch up somewhere on public transport or something, or get public transport somewhere cheaper to stay. That is a problem. We're in quite an expensive area. Mm. It's the most expensive part of the trip here. And my knees failed on the third day. Beginning of the third day, beginning Fourth of yesterday. Day. Oh, yeah, but it yeah. failed the beginning of yesterday morning. Yeah. Then I put it through. Probably should have rested yesterday. I mean, uh, I've I've been ill in worse places. Oh, for sure. I'm going to try and dunk it in the water in a minute because it said to keep ice on it, Where rest it. Where are you getting in the water? Step, sir. Maybe not. Go careful with the strap. Go careful with that strap. So, a little update, we've decided to check into a campsite for three nights. Three nights, it's like 28 euros a night, but I really need to rest this knee before it gets too much worse. Danny's feeling worse than ever as well. Can we do that? You ain't got the lungs on you at the minute, have you? 
<laughs> you sound like you have 40 Lambert butlers today. We're going to get camp set up and yeah, just rest for a couple of days, catch up on editing and all the rest of it, make the most of it. Could be worse places to have to camp for three nights, be forced to camp here. Do you want, honestly, do you want me to do that? You don't want to breathe it in now. This isn't good, is it? <laughs> I think I could have continued, but your leg ain't right. It ain't right, is it? Afternoon, everybody. We have one more night left at the campsite. I've been trying to do like a Rockies road to recovery. <laughs> on all my machines. Uh, went on a little bike ride earlier on for a couple of kilometres. No, not even like a kilometre or something. Didn't feel any pain, but knee, knee still feels like a little bit funky. So hopefully tomorrow, the next night, we'll feel a little bit better. Plan is then still continue to Verona and see how we got on. Yeah, I feel a lot better, but I, yeah, just worrying about your knee, isn't it? Mm. So I guess we'll see. This was our plan C, so maybe we need a D or an E, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe a plan D. Let us know in the comments if you've got any plan Ds other than going home and just being sensible, normal humans. Um, we were. F this is not a good angle, by the way, of us. <laughs> we're in the tent, and it's quite a shallow tent, so we can't put up any higher. I said about getting a Vespa, but we can't get one of them because you need insurance. Yeah. Anyone got an address and wants to give us their address and their details and anything? Our uh, number one goal is to continue on the bikes. We've been enjoying it so much. Yeah, it's literally been some of the best days of my life. On that note, that is us for this week. Join us next week to see if we get any further on our twelve hundred miles. Which Bike in the Balkans, we only got in the, the Balkans. We barely scratched the surface. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank you to our patrons as well. See you next week. <laughs>